Hello everyone, Thumbscrews here again. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is uh, Loki. Uh, you'll probably be hearing and seeing him, obviously, uh, throughout this video. New kitten. My dog's around here somewhere, but uh, he's usually sleeping around this time. So, uh, alright, let's get into the video now that you know he's probably going to be meowing and whatnot. Um, as you may know, all the videos I've done so far on this channel are guitar related, and uh, so far all of you have given me over 100,000 views total for all my guitar related videos, and I want to thank you for that. With that being said, I never intended for uh, this channel to be all about guitar, um, so this video is going to be the first non-guitar related video, and if you come here exclusively for guitars, you can go somewhere else now. Um, this video is going to be uh, about something I've been involved with since childhood. I'm a bit of a nerd outside of the guitar playing, a uh, geek, dork, whatever. This video is going to be about comic books and specifically this. The Walter Simonson The Mighty Thor Omnibus. What this is is it a, a collection of Simonson's entire run on Thor in hardback. Uh, the colors and everything's been completely remastered. It looks like it was gone today without losing the integrity of the original art. It is fantastic. Uh, Thor is actually my favorite comic book character um, next to Spider-Man. Uh, Thor, I don't think, gets as much love uh, as a lot of the other Marvel characters, but um, he's definitely seeing sort of a resurgence in popularity um, thanks to the movie and all that stuff. So... Uh, but anyway, uh, this omnibus, and I'm not just being biased here because I love Thor. I mean, I'm even wearing a Thor-like winter hat, and it is cold right now here. So, uh, this omnibus is over 1,000 pages. I think it's 1,138, and that's not uh, counting, like, the bonus material. Well, hey, now that I think about it, you can tell I'm a Thor fanboy. I mean, my kitten. He, his name is Loki, right? Thor's uh, half brother. Um, now, as I said, over 1,100 pages. I put it on a scale because the son of a bitch is heavy. It weighs over seven pounds. I think the total is actually 7.2 pounds, and it's just remarkable. Uh, let me see how thick it is and whatnot. And uh, if you open it up and take off the dust jacket. We've got embossed lettering, a little Mjolnir right here. Totally embossed. It's so, 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 so awesome. Now, as I said, the entire book is remastered, right? A lot of the art in it is remastered. And I'm going to show you some of it. I'll have to tilt the camera down. You're probably going to see my, uh, a oh, guess not. I was going to say, oh, that, yeah, there they are. My AC, AC pajama pants if you come here for my guitar video. Okay. Look at how beautifully rendered this thing is. This is, without a doubt, in my opinion, the most gorgeous omnibus that they have ever done. Look, here comes Loki to uh, say hi to his brother Thor. <laughs> Let's keep flipping through it so you can kind of see how wonderfully done this is. I mean, it's so crisp and clear. It looks like it was done today without losing any of the integrity of the original artwork. Uh, Simonson himself was involved in the uh, production of this omnibus. Uh, he writes a forward to it. There's extra artwork that never made it in the back of the omnibus. There's uh, some notes and stuff from Simonson himself. There's Beta Ray Bill, one of his more popular characters that he created along with Thor. Simonson was also uh, the one that brought us Bearded Thor. Uh, as I said, probably the best uh, over in overall quality uh, omnibus that Marvel has put out. Now, I got this omnibus for 60 bucks from an independent seller on Amazon. It's actually a pretty good price. You can actually, for the most part, find them for $80 plus, and they only go up in value. Uh, I would just like to say that this run, the entire Simonson run, is over four years of comics. 
And if you are new to comics or if you're curious about Thor, this is where to start. Don't start with, the, even though he's awesome and everything, don't start with Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's run in the 60s and going forward. I highly recommend you kind of avoid that because it's okay. It's in a different culture at the time, and it's really corny and really hard to get into. If you want to start with Thor, you start with this omnibus or the Walter Simonson run. It's just the definitive Thor run. There's nothing more that I can say about it than that. I mean, it gave us Bearded Thor, it gave us Beta Ray Bill, it gave us uh, a much more awesome and diverse looking Asgard, it gave us uh, Frog Thor, where Loki transformed Thor into a frog. It's just so many great stories in here, and uh, you know, a lot of it's tongue in cheek and a lot of it's serious, but. Uh, it's just amazing, amazing stuff. And a very, as I said, beautiful looking omnibus. So, that wraps it up for this video. Just a quick look at the Thor omnibus. If you like Thor, pick it up. If you're interested in getting into Thor or comic books in general, uh, this is a great, great start. Walter Simonson Thor omnibus. Have a good day.